I don't know what happened here. I don't know what this outfit I heard is. you don't like your outfit. Oh, huh? it looks so stupid. I look like a, <laughs> like a, like a corduroy karate kid. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you'll start a thing, you know? This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it was an idea, it went haywire, but we're here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sure how we can CGI you, it Everything all good? out and fix it. How okay. you doing? How's everything? Doing well. How are you? Boy, that movie's great. That Thank movie you. you wrote and star in, it is a fantastic movie. Thank you. You, you like it, I assume. I right? do. I like it, yeah. It came out the way you hoped it would? It did. Better than I hoped it would. It is about your life. You play your dad, yes. or character largely based on your dad, and yes. then there are actors who do a great job playing a young version of you. Incredible, yeah. And you wrote this movie while in court-ordered rehab. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Which is, a, did you say, hey, I got this time, I'm gonna be in here, I'm gonna do this? Was this something you set out to do? Well, they said you have PTSD, you gotta start writing, because this is how you get to the solution, the only way out is through. So I started writing all these dark chapters, you know, uh, of my life, and it wound up being this, this script form thing, sent it to my friend, became a movie. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Is it true that you now keep in touch with the police officer who arrested you? Officer Bryant. That's my guy. <laughs> that's, he, that's my guy. That's my guy. He invited me to go fishing yesterday. <laughs> he invited you to fish yesterday? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. I, I'd imagine that when that incident occurred, you didn't think you'd be a fishing buddy of this oh, guy. No. Later. Hating it. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know, life, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it takes interesting turns, it doesn't it? It takes interesting turns. What kind yeah. of fishing were you, was he asking you to do? Well, we were crabbing down there, so we'd probably be taking me crabbing, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you couldn't go because you're doing this. Right. Is it true that you, at one time while you're in rehab, were thinking about joining the Peace Corps? You, well, yeah, before I, I wasn't planning on making a movie. I was, uh, yeah, before I, I thought the actor thing was over. And then uh, I, I signed up to go to the Peace Corps. And, oh, uh, you actually signed up? Yeah, and then went into this rehab facility, was there for two months, had written this thing, plans changed, so when I got out, I wasn't gonna do the Peace Corps no more. So uh, we had a, a little conversation about it. They were very peaceful about it. Uh, 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 they didn't threaten to sue? No, no, very, very calm. Listen, I'm not gonna come. That's okay. <laughs> it's not like the Navy or something like that. Yeah, it's not the Marine Corps, the where Marine once Corps. you sign up, you're in. It doesn't matter what. Exactly. Yeah. Now, this movie is, is very moving and, and really troubling in a lot of ways because mm. you had a really tough childhood. Mm. If people saw you as a kid actor, even Stevens and all this stuff, but boy, the life you were living was certainly not gra glamorous. And it makes me wonder how your dad felt about you playing him. Did you tell him beforehand? This My dad's a pretty uh, off-color character. He wasn't like too enthused about me playing him, you know? Uh -huh. uh, I don't know how you are with your dad or how you guys are with your dad, but my dad wasn't trying to have me play him, so I lied to him and told him uh, that uh, Mel Gibson would be playing him. <laughs> And uh, my dad was like, no, this all right, okay, all right. I didn't sign the paperwork. And then I got home and I broke it to him. I sent them pictures. I said, listen, man, it's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true story. Yeah. And has your father seen the movie yet? Yes. He has. Yes. And how, how did he take it? Oh, uh, well, I didn't ask him. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I watched him watch it on webcam. Oh, he did? Yeah. Did he yeah. know you were watching? Yeah, yeah. I told him, listen, you know, I don't want to hear your review. I just want to watch you watch it. So I sat and watched him watch on, uh, on uh, you know, he's big on Facebook. He has all these robot friends, all these Russian friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and, uh, so he does the face cam uh -huh. thing a lot. So, so I said, let me just watch you watch it, man. And it wow. was really emotional. Yeah, I would imagine so. I, 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 I was watching it and I was thinking about, th you know, things from my life. And as a father, there are certainly things you regret. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know how, I don't know how I'd come out of watching that movie. I really don't. Well, it depends on how, uh, how your kids view you. I mean, I love my dad, you know. And, yeah, that's yeah. the interest, one of the very interesting things about the movie is your dad really didn't behave like a, a father at all. Yeah, he was my dude. He was a, he was like a buddy. Yeah, yeah. but not in a gr well, not the best, not buddy. in a good way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's like a <laughs> buddy. <laughs> yeah, I love you, I love By you. the way, not a bad title if there's a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Shia LaBeouf is here. His movie is Honey Boy. We'll be right back. Why is she busy? She... Why does she have a job? Think it through. Play the tape out. What's your mother got a job for? Huh? 
Just in case. In case in what? In case what? I don't know. In case know. you fail. In case it don't no. work out. Yes, no. man. She's filling your head full of fear. I don't ever do that, do I? Huh? I pump you full of strength. Because we're on a team, and I know you got what it takes. You're a star, and I know it. That's why I'm here. I'm your cheerleader, honey boy. You trust me? That's Shia LaBeouf and Honey Boy playing his dad, kid playing you. Was it weird to, to have a kid play you? Super weird, yeah. Yeah, you, and he, he was a great actor. So like there'd be, you know, it's, it's my life and he'd be stealing scenes because he's so good and I'd just be feeling jealous about this little kid thinking. <laughs> Did you give him tips on how to, how to be you? Well, he, he was he was better than me, better than I ever was. Better. But I but I empathized with my dad's jealousy, you know, things uh -huh. that I just didn't even. Interesting. Think I was, yeah, you know, there was another movie called Honey Boy. Are you aware of that? No. Yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, the original Honey Boy, uh, starring Eric Estrada and Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> the media made him a star. And now he had to prove himself. And he I don't. Should, wanna... He should have been wearing this outfit. Look at this. <laughs> Speaking of that outfit, are you and Kanye West still friends? Yes, 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 yes. Because he, he like, somewhat famously went through your closet and yes. to gather ideas for he wouldn't have, He wouldn't have taken his corduroy gi, but... <laughs> but uh, maybe he would. Maybe he'll maybe. see something that you don't see in that. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? He, he went to your house and took your clothes or something, yes, right? Yes, he did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he do that? We're buddies and... Uh -huh. uh, and uh, that's I have what friends. Do. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> no, I, he came over. We were doing some art thing, and then he was like, "Hey, man, you mind if I go look in your closet?" I'm like, well, "Kanye West, do go wherever you want to go. Yeah, do whatever you want to do." And he liked the stuff, and I guess that's flattering, huh? Yeah, really flattering. Did you know you have, with top critics, 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes? Whoa. Did you, did you read that stuff? Uh, with this one, this one more so because it's 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 like not a review of a movie. It's like a review of my father. Oh, you know. So so I've been reading it, trying to ke get ahead of it with my dad. You know, uh -huh. it's weird when people are like the world is reviewing your dad. Do you think he'll read that stuff? Yeah, I guess that's how Donald Trump Jr. feels all the time. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Will he read? Uh, this yeah, he'll read stuff. it all. He'll yeah, read he'll all read, of it. He'll read yeah. it all. Yeah. Yeah. My wow. dad's like a peacock. You know, this is like his big moment and. Is and, he really? Yes. So he's enthusiastic oh, about it. Oh, so this. enthusiastic. Yeah. 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 I don't think I would be if I was him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I'd maybe, yeah, I'd maybe feel a little bit of shame. Yeah. You he's know? not feeling that at he's all. He's not feeling that yeah, at all. No, 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 no. That's so interesting. What yeah. about the chicken? So that your dad worked with a chicken. Henrietta LaFowle, yes, yeah, was the world's first <laughs> daredevil chicken. Uh huh. And he had a very strong connection with this bird. It's like some kind of dancing with wolves type. <laughs> type connection, very intimate, and uh, spent years with this chicken in my bathtub. And, um, and, 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 and I had to like build this connection with this, this chicken on set. And my dad was, that was the only thing he was very critical about. He's like, you're never ever gonna get the same kind of connection I had. <laughs> you just don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> yeah, man, he was very close with this chicken. <laughs> very well, close. you've had a, you're, for a young man, you've had a long and very strange life. Yes. And uh, the movie's great. I wish you the best. Thank I'm you, glad man. you're doing so well. Shia LaBeouf, everybody, go see the movie. It's called Honey Boy. It opens the theaters Friday. We'll be right back. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.